Hi, I'm Sylvia from Vintage Kitchen Vixen, where I share tips for simple living, creating memorable gatherings, and preparing wholesome and traditional meals with a vintage twist. Today I'm going to be telling you about chandelier. Now, excuse me, what did you say? You might be wondering, what is chandelier? How the heck do you spell that? Okay, well, you already know how to spell that because it's in the title of the video and it's on my cute little video card that I made. Chandelier is an annual non-bank holiday that is celebrated in France and it's also celebrated by some families in Quebec, specifically the families that have Catholic backgrounds because it stems from what we call candle mass. But kind of like Christmas, it's one of those holidays that's branched away from these Catholic religious traditions and today it's primarily celebrated as Crepe Day. Now it is celebrated on February 2nd, same as Groundhog Day, and I like Chandelier a heck of a lot better than Groundhog Day because you get to eat crepes. And I'm not knocking the groundhog, but the groundhog kind of just does nothing generally, it comes out of its little hole and then there's winter or spring. And you have something very similar with chandelier that kind of has that weather prediction going on. So for example, if it's raining on chandelier, that means you have 40 days of rain to look forward to. If it's sunny, you'd think that would be a good thing, but no, it means that you have more winter and, mi and misfortune headed your way. Not very auspicious. However, if it's a clear day, it means winter is behind you. Finally, if it's cloudy, you have 40 days of winter. So you have a couple more choices than Groundhog Day, but only one of the four seems to be a happy option. And I mean, usually, no matter what, you have winter ahead of you. So in addition to some of these weather superstitions, there are a couple more that come with chandelier. So one is when you are flipping your first crepe, you're also holding a gold piece in your ha left hand. So you're flipping with your right and you have a gold coin in your left hand. And if you successfully flip, you have good luck for the year. So an even weirder superstition, and I'm not saying that flipping with a gold coin in your hand is weird by any means, but an even weirder superstition than that is saving that first crepe. So if you put your crepe in a drawer or on top of a wardrobe, apparently that's supposed to be bring prosperity. And I don't know how long you're actually supposed to keep this crepe hidden away for. Until the next year? Until it's moldy? I have no idea. Hopefully it doesn't get moldy. If it does, you probably have way too much humidity in your home. So what does chandelier actually mean? So chandelier comes from the word chandelle, which is candles. And I already mentioned that it stems from candle mass, which is the English equivalent um, of the religious holiday. It used to be associated with light, with purification, with, and with fecundity. So I don't know the whole historical aspect of it, but apparently there's a mix of like Catholic tradition and then also pagan tradition mixed in. So the crepe actually represents the sun and the circle of life and also feasting. And that's really what Chandelier is about today. It's about feasting. And one very important thing that I should mention is that crepes are not served for breakfast. It's a dinner thing. And Crepes for dinner, I can't think of a better dinner. Actually, there are many dinners, but crepes for dinner, it's pretty special, and that's why I always look forward to chandelier. When it was first introduced to me by my husband, he says hi, by the way, Big Papa says hi. Uh, when he first introduced it to me, I was kind of like, okay, and then I skipped it one year, and he was super bummed out and had no idea why, and then I'm like, oh yeah, like, we missed out on crepes for dinner. So, <laughs> Um, I've been making sure to make crepes, crepes for dinner every year, ever since we missed that. I actually wanted to film this video while flipping crepes, but clearly I didn't end up doing that, which is unfortunate, but A, I'm not really hungry, so I'm not going to be ready to eat a stack of crepes after this, although crepes could be refrigerated and used or made for a dessert later on, but anyhow, I'm not flipping and talking, so I'm sorry. But if you want to see me flipping crepes, I do have a video that I made already on crepes. They were ham and cheese crepes. It's 
a delicious recipe. And when it comes to crepes, you don't just have to do ham and cheese. You can do ham, egg, and cheese if you want to have that for dinner. You can have a ham, cheese and apple, like a brie and an apple. You can do it where it's more dessert like Nutella and strawberries, or Nutella and bananas, or maple syrup and cheddar. You have so many different options. So you don't have to be held back, but that cool recipe, I will link that below. So that just gives you some different ideas of how you can fill your crepes. There are no right or wrong answers when it comes to filling crepes. Everybody has their own um, desires, their own crepe desires, but you can just offer several different options on the table if you want. Now, what should you drink with your crepes on Chandelier? So traditionally, what they do in Brittany, France, they drink cider. And I guess that's pretty widespread tradition. It's not something I have done yet, um, but maybe I'll do it this year. Right now, I'm drinking... I think it's a port, porter? No oh, wait, stout. I'm drinking a stout in celebration of Chandelier, which is not for another few weeks. But, you know, I need to make sure you get this early so that you have time to plan crepe day for yourselves. But yeah, they, every, like, cider is the drink to enjoy when you're eating your crepes on Chandelier. And if you want to be super traditional, you drink it from a bowl and not a cup. So I'll, I'll drink cider with my crepes this year, but it's probably not going to be out of a bowl. So hopefully I introduced you to a new tradition. Maybe it's something you can add to your Groundhog Day celebrations this year. You can not just, you know, cheer on the groundhogs, but you can also enjoy some crepes in the evening and um, celebrate the circle of life and some cider, and mostly just feasting and drinking cider and enjoying being with your loved ones because, you know, that's what every day is like and I think it's just, you know, the middle of the winter, sitting down around the table around an annual evening of crepes, I think that's pretty darn special. So I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on it. Is it something you're going to try celebrating on your own this year? Um, are you going to try it out? Have you have you celebrated Chandelab before? Have you heard of it? love to hear your thoughts and your comments below and by the way if you are new to the kitchen if this is your very first episode of Vintage Kitchen Vixen welcome I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did I really hope you subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you never miss an episode of the kitchen and if you are coming back you know I'm happy to have you here like I love you guys <laughs> As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like it by hitting the thumbs up, leave a comment, and share this video on social media if you feel so inclined. Speaking of which, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram if you want to see what I'm up to throughout the week. Otherwise, I put out two new videos a week, so I will be seeing you real soon. Bye!